I have no idea how we ended up here, but you're, you're watching, watching the Fight for the Gather Show! After traveling for, what is it, three weeks? Look at this. Luckily, when we were in Seattle, we picked up a secret little friend here. This is our favorite coffee on the planet. Stop by Starbucks for a little half and half. I'm ready for my first <laughs> sip. Mm. Oh yeah. Yep. <laughs> Say that again. I did have a good time last night and I am appreciative of you. Yesterday night was pretty cool. So we show up at Mark's house. I haven't seen the guy in 20 years. And I hardly knew him 20 years ago even. He remembered buying one of my t-shirts from me in high school. I had a t-shirt company in high school where I made t-shirts and I made... His wife is in France, so it was just him and his son, Micah. And they had this full basement downstairs with a bedroom and a like a queen bed and all these places on the floor for the kids to sleep. And then he offered Cammy and I his bed upstairs. He said it was a king size. And he said he had cleaned the sheets. He was gonna sleep in the bunk bed with his kid and give us his master bedroom. Stuff like that. There's just no way to explain it. You can't get that at a hotel. It's hard to explain what, what that's even worth or, or how that feels to be extended that type of hospitality. But thank you, Mark, for the wonderful night and the wonderful breakfast and dinner. And uh, we hope we're back. Colorado right now. There's this city here. Like, what do you do when you have a city that's next to Kansas and Colorado? You name it, Canarado. Oh. And now we are entering into Kansas. We are at that point in the road trip and vlog where we have the option of getting out to take a picture at the state sign or a video and say something witty but we're like let's stay in the car so we can get home faster <laughs> uh i'm kind of out of ideas for this vlog it's actually really tricky thinking about storylines and how to move things along traveling because honestly it's like this show the cows because we always see these oh. cows Cammy wants to show the cows. Where's the cows? They're out there, on the right. I guess there's cows out there. That's what we've been seeing this whole time. Oh. But seriously, we're kind of worn out at this point. Okay, cool. And are you guys located in, on Cherry Street? Uh, yes, sir. All right, thank you. We will be right there. This road trip, just turned around. 
Cammy saw a billboard for Pizza Hut lunch buffet. What? It just turned around and I'm not sure which direction it turned. <laughs> but it turned. Arrived at Pizza Hut. We've been doing so good on this road trip. We haven't stopped at any like large chain fast food type restaurants. But when we fall, we fall hard. The last time we stopped at Pizza Hut, it was three years ago, and it was in Kansas. Pizza Hut, it was good. I'm not regretting it yet. I did have some salad, it kind of made me feel better about myself. Since this is a buffet at Pizza Hut, they had dessert pizza, but we made sure not to eat that because we try to really limit our desserts during the week. I think it's like some of those rules or things about our family culture that help keep us sane even while we're like traveling and living a completely different lifestyle on the road. It's good for us not to throw everything out the window. Even with my six, I had these expectations, but especially if you've never been through it, not that those are just Braxton Hicks, but they could have been more that than the real thing. One cool way to look at it, those aren't fruitless things you're going through. I mean, I think your body's preparing, but even you can use it as a time to prepare emotionally. This baby is gonna come out. We just got off the phone with Brian and Annie just to see how they're doing. She's due in about five days. And we're planning on being there for the birth because we'll be there tomorrow. They haven't, she hasn't had any more contractions. I was just talking to her about how it's been really difficult for her, especially having contractions and then they stop and then you're, you're wondering what in the world is going on and you're, you just, you're totally out of control. Um, you don't know when this baby's coming. Uh, you're at the mercy of basically your body doing its thing. And it was cool to just be able to share with her, you know, even though I've had six babies, my sixth baby was, that was the hardest pregnancy at the end there for me too. So it was cool to just be able to say like, I, I totally get it. And one way or another, this baby's gonna come out and you're not always gonna be pregnant. We're gonna hopefully make it for the birth and I'm really excited to be able to be a part of that. Man, two policemen just pulled up to me while I was filming that intro sequence and they said, are you okay? We thought you are a jumper. And I was like, a jumper? And they said, yeah, someone who's like about ready to commit suicide by jumping off the bridge into the freeway. Hey guys, we're uh, <laughs> leaving Kansas and I think we're gonna be in Missouri now. We've been driving for about 12 hours. We left this morning at 7.30. We were really tired. 
were staying with this family that Ben met on Facebook. They have seven kids. We don't know much about them. And we are worn out. It's actually yeah. 13 hours because we gained an hour or lost an hour, something like that. Yes, we're tired. We're actually hard. Took a good nap though, but we're tired. We just got here. Oh my gosh. Is it already <laughs> Saturday? It is 12.30 yep. a.m. past midnight. We just had an amazing dinner and some pretty awesome conversation. But it's mm -hmm. time to do our weekly wrap up. Yeah. But first, you guys gotta check out this house. We told you guys when we do this hospitality thing and open ourselves up, we have no idea where we're gonna end up. We hit the jackpot <laughs> though. <laughs> but check this out. So I, I wish I could show you. Like 10 minutes ago, kids were playing like it was like 10 a.m. A lot of kids. How many kids are in this house right now? Seven plus six, 13? There's 13 kids in here. So we got these kids doing their little thing here. And then the other older kids are playing some sort of card game. We're all cleaning up now. Everyone's in cleanup mode. They were playing foosball. This is Josh, this is his house. And Gina is in here. Gina, you wanna say hi? <laughs> so we had dinner here and they gave us this uh, amazing Kansas City barbecue. I guess that's, that's a real thing. Josh watches our vlog, so I asked him, I was like, what's it like seeing us on screen and then are we what you expected? Uh, it was what I expected. It was, I always thought that we would get along and that our kids would have fun together and it turns out that that's exactly what happened. So it was a great night. It was so great that Cammy and I, we were talking about going back tomorrow, but we just asked them, they were like, hey, if you guys want to stay another night, and we're like, were you serious about that? Because now we're thinking about staying tomorrow, like, actually. Okay, twist our arm, <laughs> okay. So, where's the light around here? Seriously, you guys, check this house out. This is the second floor. Yes. Then, they give us the entire third floor of the house. And I didn't want to say this in front of them, but we found out that they moved all of their kids' stuff out of this upstairs floor for us. We have our own, like, three rooms here, and it has its own like private entrance. There's a living room here. I could show you guys more of this house, but it's not gonna capture what we're feeling and just the gratefulness and gratitude of being blown away by surprise hospitality again. You just can't buy this stuff. You can't plan this stuff. We are so thankful. We really are actually now thinking about staying an extra day <laughs> and not leaving just because we don't want to leave. <laughs> and Josh and his wife, Gina, were really just saying some incredibly encouraging things about our vlog and what they've noticed about us. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I couldn't have asked for that. I didn't even know to ask for that. Mm -mm. I feel like it could change our life. It could change our vlog. So we've had quite the week. We've traveled across a bunch of states and mm -hmm. the next time we see you guys, we should be back in Bellevue, Kentucky. Unless we move here for like the whole week or month. <clears throat> We're gonna be getting back to normal life here soon. We're ready, I think, to be done with the traveling, but it's a rest day. We're gonna try and do the best we can to remind ourselves that our identity is not in anything that we do but it's in the work that has already been accomplished from us that we believe comes from Jesus. Um, and that is that God loves us no matter what we do and who we are, what we've done or not done. As I'm hearing Ben say that, I just take a moment. I just want to like soak that in. And I need to hear that every single week. And even once a week isn't enough, but it's bare minimum. So as you're hearing that, and if you can soak that in, just know that we're trying to do the same. 
So thanks guys for following along. Um, we still have a bit more traveling to do before we see you next, but mm -hmm. hopefully we'll see you next in Bellevue, Kentucky. Have a great weekend. We hope you're able to find rest wherever you're at. Yep. Shabbat. Shalom. Shalom. This is the most exciting thing that's happened in Kansas all year. We got a jumper. Thank <laughs> you.